What's going on everybody? Kenny Dubs here with a, another Mega Man X dive event coverage video. Today we're taking a look at the most recent raid boss released in the global version, Hell Sigma. Now before we get too far into this raid boss, this raid boss is actually very, very easy, very, very simple. Uh, Hell Sigma just kind of sits on the ground. So there are a lot of units that you can use to go through and beat this boss pretty effectively. So this one might be where many of you might have seen someone using Magma Dragoon using um, versus a raid boss. Magma Dragoon is pretty good here. Honestly, there's you can use basically anything just because this boss doesn't move. So it's a lot easier to deal with in that regard. However, some characters are still going to be good regardless of things like super base characters with high burst damage, super base, uh, Furham. You know, and things like that. Or characters that can uh, have, like, the restriction off kind of thing where they can, like, combo their abilities. Magna Dragoon kind of has a restriction off kind of thing where if he hits one of his skills, he can use his other one again. Kind of cycle that way. But, um, yeah, there's not really too much to say about this boss overall, to be quite honest, because he is so simple to deal with. All right, so for this example run, I'm going to be using Super Base alongside the Biochemical Buster and the Art Cracker weapons. I don't really need to use Art Cracker weapon, but it was the first thing I thought of, so here we are. And then for the card setup I'm using, I'm going to be using one copy of Bitter Struggle and then two copies of the Ghost Rog cards. The Bitter Struggle is there because of the Double Buster adaptability. I'm sorry, the Double Buster amplification here. And something that I actually forgot about during this fight was that I don't have pressure operation on my base. So you're going to see me just like kind of like walk into attacks a lot. Uh, what I do have though by accident is Buster Adaptability. So I take a little bit less damage while utilizing, um, you know, while being in this stage here. And the reason I say that I don't really, I don't necessarily really need to bring the, um, the Art Cracker is because Super Base himself actually inflicts a defense debuff, a stackable defense debuff. So I didn't really need to do that. But as far as uh, Hell Sigma goes, like I said, he just kind of sits on the ground like this. He makes these heads over here, and the heads can attack you. And I try to kill a few of them every once in a while. I wanted to use my sweeping laser, but it wasn't off cooldown. And then his other attack is he makes these orbs. And to my knowledge, that's all that he really does. <laughs> so uh, I just kind of walk into a lot of damage, like I said, because I thought I pressed your operation. Then once my HP starts dropping, I realized, oh, I don't, I don't have pressure operation as a um as one of my dna's and for those of you that don't know pressure operation basically what that is it's that just allows you to uh, recover hp while using or while hitting a target that has a uh, defense crush on it so i could have gotten a lot higher if i had at least recognized that earlier or at the very least uh you know played a bit safer and then right here um i went to click uh quit and then my game crashed which kind of sucks but um, I, I still got the stage finish, so that's that's all that really matters there. All right, and my first run basically stopped because I didn't recognize that I did have pressure operation. Just because that would give me more longevity, and because I thought I had that, I just played a lot more recklessly, right? Because if I like, if I'm just trying to go fast, like you don't avoid damage, you just kind of just eat the hits, you know, bank on your survivability. But yeah, that's basically it for Hell Sigma. Like I said, you can use a lot of different characters here. For him, will always be good. Um, like I said, Super Base will also be good. You know, just characters that have, that are generally good at raid bosses in general. The, will do really well, especially because the boss doesn't move. And I think, I feel like I'm going to say the wrong cinnamon here. I, is it, is it White Day Cinnamon? I think it's White Day Cinnamon. I get White Day Cinnamon New, and New Year Cinnamon confused. I'm pretty sure it's White Day Cinnamon, the one that's good at raiding. That's another good option to use there. And like I said, Magma Dragoon, if any of you Magma Dragoon enthusiasts out there want to use him. I also, I think that that Gaia Arm X could do pretty decent in this as well. And here I'm just showing off the rewards that you can use here for this and showing off the Hell Sigma card, um, his launch amplification too, which is good if you're going to be making use of the assault equipment. Uh, got some shooting Dragon Buster memories and um, everything you get once you hit 2 million points and I'm basically already there. So that's that. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to my YouTube channel members and my patrons for supporting me and allowing me to continue doing what I do. And that's basically it for this video. And hopefully everyone else has much better runs than I did and recognize what you're bringing with this event. And I'll catch you guys next time.